All right. I am going to try 12 different RuPaul chocolate bars. These were sent to me by two friends of mine, Angel and Youngie. Uh, you know, just after doing the Hershey's one, and just after talking about how much I don't like chocolate, now I've got 12 more. What's nice about these, though, is that it looks like none of them are just plain fucking chocolate. If they were, I would drown myself. But um, in this case, it looks like they all have different kind of ingredients. Uh, so that's good. They're all named. Actually, some of these don't have names. One's just RuPaul chocolate. I guess I'll just start with this. Now, I will admit, I um, am not, I don't really know much about Drag Race, RuPaul, uh, but let's see how the chocolate is. This is milk chocolate, coffee cream, toffee bits, and the cinnamon. Okay. Comes in a gold wrapper. What company makes the chocolate? Um, it says chocolab.com. Yeah. Hmm. It's very, very creamy. Okay. The cinnamon goes a long way in this one. I like the cinnamon. Coffee, I'm not tasting a ton of. The cream's got kind of like a pasty feel. I wish it was more toffee. This is the RuPaul regular chocolate. So, not bad. Um, definitely edible. That sounds mean, but no, like pretty good. Like, considering I don't like chocolate that much. Got a little bit of texture. The cinnamon is really nice. I'm gonna say this is like a solid. Mm, have one more bite. The cinnamon is really good. I'm sure like a B. Like, perfectly edible. I kind of wish there were, you know, more crunch. Probably going to be saying that a lot um, with these. Okay. So I was the regular chocolate. A lot of people in the chat saying things I don't understand. I've never seen this show. Do you toot it or boot it? How many boots? How many wigs? I don't know the catchphrases of the show. I'm, I apologize. Okay. Looks like some of these are... There's like different ones. There's like Some are called Latrice Royale. Some have adjectives. Some are just called RuPaul. So, I assume Latrice Royale is another drag uh, drag performer. It's my guess. So there's like five of those, and then there's some more. There's like six more RuPaul ones. All right, let's try this one. Milk chocolate, peanut butter, and sea salt.
a lot of chocolate. Once you get to the peanut butter, it's pretty nice. The sea salt definitely helps give it some, you know, dimension. But a little too sweet, a little too simple for me. Like, I need texture. This is not up to my taste. It's not bad. Without the peanut butter, it'd be much lower. I'll say a low B minus. Um, I'll also rank these. So, so far, regular is better than the milk, peanut butter, and the sea salt. Here's another just RuPaul one. Dark chocolate, almonds, hazelnut spread, and cinnamon. Now, I liked the cinnamon in the other one. So, let's see. Ooh, it's got kind of a nice pattern on the back. The problem with like a hazelnut spread is it really blends in with the chocolate and because dark chocolate is so bitter, you really can't taste the spread. The almonds are nice. I like the cinnamon. The cinnamon really helps, but this might actually be my least favorite so far. I normally like dark chocolate, but if there's not much else, I feel like the almonds could have used a little bit more salt, you know, give it a nice contrast. Um... Yeah, I'm not really feeling this one. This is like, um, it's not terrible, but I'll say on, on this scale, like a C plus. So definitely my least favorite of the three so far. <sighs> this one is called Uniqueness. Milk, chocolate, peanut butter, and sea salt. I think it's going to be very similar to the other one, but try it out. Hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing. any difference in um, no I think these are literally the same bar just repackaged so uh, someone's uh, angel says notice something about the names of the last four RuPaul bars Oh, interesting. Uh, charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Hmm. Interesting. What does that spell? Anyway, uh, so yeah, this is exactly the same as the other one. Okay. So I should do these in order then. So I'll go back to the beginning and go... Um, Charisma, dark chocolate, wait, are these, is this the fucking same too? Dark chocolate, almonds, hazelnut spread, and cinnamon. Wait, okay. Are these just the same thing over at, mm, this is, this is almost certainly the same thing. 
as um, the C plus one. Let's see. No, slightly different. Okay. This one is worse for you. Okay. Looks like this one uses cane sugar. So it's just slightly worse for you. Not a bad thing. I guess I'll have to try it then. It's too bad because the other set, the Latrice Royale set, looks like they have some really interesting ingredients in there, but these are getting a little samey. Okay. You can see the almonds on the back. Pretty much exactly the same. I can't tell a difference. This needs sea salt, something, give it um, more contrast. Otherwise, it really, that dark chocolate really overshadows all the other ingredients. Okay. Well, on to nerve. Milk chocolate with coffee cream and toffee bits. I do welcome back the toffee bits. This is very similar to the regular RuPaul, just no cinnamon. Because there's no cinnamon in this, I can actually taste the coffee flavor in this now. Man, if you're gonna put toffee bits in your chocolate, shove them in. Just fill it with fucking toffee. Like, this is so slight like i would expect these to have like i don't know, like decadence and you know like just tons of flavor but that said the coffee cream's not bad i can definitely taste it i couldn't really taste it in the original bar so it does taste different um but uh yeah i don't know that just there's not enough toffee crunch for me uh i'm gonna say this gets like a, probably getting like a B minus. I think I would rank it lower than the peanut butter. The original is still the one to beat, I think. Okay. Ugh. Talent. Dark chocolate with coffee cream and cinnamon. They're all the same. They're all just the same. I mean, this one's slightly different because it's dark chocolate this time. With coffee cream and cinnamon. Oh yeah, so the, these chocolate bars do have segments. I'm only eating the tops of them. 
but you can see they are actually get segmented. Mm. Okay. It is, I think I like it better than the one with almonds in it, even though I like almonds, because in that one there's barely any almonds, this one there's kind of more of like that coffee, cinnamony, app like undertone, so it's still a C+, plus, but it's better than the one on the bottom, so so far, regular, then the peanut butter, then nerve, then talent, then the dark chocolate almond RuPaul. Okay. The RuPaul bars are done. Now let's move on to Latrice Royale. These at least look very different. Okay. The first one, white and milk chocolate, Nutella, macadamia nuts, toffee, Oreos. I do love Oreos. So this has the toffee and the Oreos. This better be a crunchy ass. Ooh. Ooh, the top is white chocolate. The bottom is chocolate. Ooh. Hmm. Mmm. Pretty good. It's very good. A lot of great things here. First off, I like white chocolate a lot. It's great. The Nutella, mmm. Nutella actually, it's hard to tell it apart from the regular chocolate, but the creaminess is really nice. The texture is the best part. It's got a great toffee crunch. Um, the macadamia nuts, while surprising, not unwelcome. Um, I'm not sure if I'm noticing the Oreo, but doesn't matter overall really nice sweet creamy crunchy um yeah really good i will give this i'll give this an a minus definitely like leagues above the other ones for me personally um really really good i need to get more water because i have to because these are making me fucking thirsty one second All right, <clears throat> way better. All right, that was quite good. Now, Latrice Royale, oh, these have names. Oh, these are great. Plastique Fantastique is this one, the one I just had. 
This one's chunky yet funky. It's fucking great. Okay. Milk chocolate, caramel, sea salt, toffee, peanuts. Sounds pretty promising. I like a lot of those ingredients. Is this going to spell something? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is already like sticky because uh, of the caramel. Uh, so, okay. Mmm. Ooh. That's really good. That's really, really good. Oh, shit. Mmm. That's so fucking good. Holy shit. Mmm. Sea salt caramel. Incredible. It's filled with caramel. Sea salt really brings out the flavor. The toffee is there. The peanuts add a nice crunch. It's just rich and crunchy and care. I love caramel. S tier. Best one by a mile. Really fucking good. Wow. I'm sorry, RuPaul, but your chocolate bars are just baby shit. Latrice. Latrice knows how to make a damn chocolate bar. God damn. Mmm. So good. See, I go on about how much I don't like chocolate. But for me, it's like, I like a really good chocolate bar. I don't want to just eat basic ass, just nonsense chocolate. It's a waste of my time. Okay. Okay. Next up, five G's. Um, milk chocolate, vanilla cream, pistachios, dried cranberries, white chocolate chips. Sounds pretty good. Again, all these things I like. reading the side because I'm like where the fuck are the ingredients mm? okay there we go Definitely a downgrade. Um, too much chocolate. If if you list all these great ingredients, like, you know, pistachios, cranberries, all these shit, you know, it should be like, oh, man, like, let's get that, like, the these other two. From the get-go, you're like, damn, it's full of, full of great stuff. This, you're like, is there other shit in here? And then you bite it, and you're like, oh, okay, there's kind of shit in here. A little bit. Um... I like the pistachios. I wish there were more. The dried cranberries really you don't get like they they're really not very flavorful. Like I love cranberries. I want that nice, you know. I like a good mix of oh yeah, that cranberries with the nuts and you're not really getting it here. Um 
Yeah, this is like a RuPaul bar. So, I think I'm gonna say, hmm. Yeah, pretty average. Um, this might even be lower than the peanut butter bar. I don't remember what I ranked it, but this is probably like a C, C plus maybe. Um, I think I would put it maybe above the 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 shittier toffee one. So like fifth in the ranking out of eight. Um, but. Pretty, uh, pretty disappointing. I expected more from you, Latrice. Anyway, large and in charge. Milk chocolate, peanut butter cream, Oreos, peanut butter chips, Cocoa Krispies. Sounds pretty good. I just want at least to live up to the Latrice Royale brand that I'm so used to for the past 25 minutes. You know. Hmm. Pretty good. Um, I like peanut butter. That's good. I feel like peanut butter chips, though, you don't need that on top of the peanut butter. The Oreo and Cocoa Krispies give a nice texture, nice crunch. I do appreciate that. You can actually, you know, identify them in the chocolate. But it's not amazing. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. I think I like this. I think I'm going to say this is like a B. I'm not sure if I like it better than the regular RuPaul bar. Because I think this had the nice cinnamon and the toffee. This is a little simpler, but I think they're pretty, pretty close. So it's good. But again, these two just were orgasmic. And this one is pretty good. You know, serviceable. Okay. Finally, eat it! Oh, I'll eat it. Milk chocolate, white chocolate cream, cookies and cream, raw cookie dough, Snickers. Sounds fucking good. Sounds pretty fucking good. Honest. Kind of disappointed. The problem with this is, you know, I like cookie dough and like ice cream, 
But that's because cookie dough has a contrast in ice cream. Like ice cream is, you know, very light and creamy. And then you have this nice, you know, big cookie dough balls that are nice and chewy and, you know, add a nice different dimension. In this though, similar to like the, like the coffee cream or the, whatever cream they use, which is kind of pasty, it just kind of tastes like that. Like you don't really get much out of it. It's kind of a waste. And then again, overshadows everything else. Like I can I can see Snickers. I can see Oreo. Can I taste them? Not really, because it's just overshadowed by this overly sweet chocolate cookie dough paste that just overshadows it. So, mm, I think it's worse than the cranberry one. Maybe worse than the, I feel like it's on par with the nerve bar. What was that, C plus or something? I think it's around there. Okay. Now, overall, I'm just not a chocolate guy. Like, I don't like super sweet stuff. Um, although people are like, but you like white chocolate? Yeah, but white chocolate has like, it's got to have stuff in it, like cookies or whatever. Um, I think the RuPaul bars, for me, are passable. Like, or, or I mean, skippable, actually, skippable. Like, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get those again. I don't think they're that great. Um, maybe the original. The original, the regular RuPaul bar with the toffee and the cinnamon is pretty good. Like, I would, but I don't know if I'd go out of my way to get it. And then the Latrice Royale bars, um, some of them are like RuPaul bar-esque. But I will say, these two are great. Absolutely would eat these again. Um, chunky yet funky. That's the toffee peanut caramel sea salt. Delicious. Plastique fantastique. The macadamia nut toffee Oreo. You know, really great too. Um, both of these, highly recommend. The worst one would be the uh, dark chocolate almonds, hazelnut spread and cinnamon. Um, yeah, so that is the, uh, uh, review portion of this for the chocolate bars. If I do another chocolate thing, I'm going to die. So I gotta, I gotta figure out what the next one's going to be. Um, but yeah, thank you, Angel and Youngie for sending these. Angel, you're probably going to get all these leftovers, except these, these are mine, although you can try them. Um, so... Now for the second half, uh, we'll do Q and A. So go ahead and throw some questions at me. Um, God, chocolate. It's just a shame. It's like chocolate, like there's two, it just overshadows things. Unless it's really good chocolate, like a Cadbury, but uh, man. However, I did have fun with this. I just, I just personally wish some of these were better because they sound so good. And then you have them, you're like, they're okay, you know. Um, how does the best RuPaul chocolate compare to your most favorite chocolate bar? My favorite chocolate bar is the Cookies and Cream Hershey's. The best RuPaul chocolate or the best Latrice chocolate? Because those are two different questions. The best Latrice is... Really fucking good. So, I would say I still like the Hershey's white chocolate more, but this is this is quite good. Um, let's see, uh. Any type of content you want to do that you haven't really tried yet. That's kind of interesting. Um, I kind of thought about maybe doing more like focused, like, I don't know, like local restaurant reviews or something like that. But, um, or just like not, they don't even necessarily be reviews, but just like 
features or something, but I haven't really done it yet. Something to think about. I don't know if that's something that would, people would watch. I The thing is that they'd be hard to edit, but I think they'd be fun to do. Um, let's see. How many rooms do you have in your house? Um, currently, we have a two bed, two bath. Uh, and then there's like a living room, living room and kitchen. Um, and uh, we're, we're in the middle of trying to move. So that answer will change. But uh, I don't have an FAQ or on hand no um except for the uh never ask me these questions again videos just go watch all those um rank all the alcoholic drinks at applebee's <laughs> uh funny thing is i don't actually drink very much uh because of health reasons uh, i would or doctor's orders but also before that i didn't drink much anyway so it didn't really change much for me um, I'll drink on special occasions, um, but otherwise, I really try to keep it uh, minimal. Is there another delicacy you really want to eat when you have the chance besides caviar? Like what I've never tried or you really like to eat? Um, I, for example, do love a really good truffle pasta. Like shaved truffles are fucking great. Um... What else is there? I mean, like, you got your, you know, Otoro, your fatty tuna, uh, is delicious. Uh, Wagyu, like, real Wagyu beef is divine. You know, yeah, there's a lot of great delicacies. Um, what's your default breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. Would you save the largest collection of Rhythm Heaven shirts? Um, I have a lot, a lot from, um, uh, the Yeti, but I doubt I have the largest. Uh, thank you for your donation Extra Life. Appreciate it. Um, do you have any interest in cooking? Uh, no, because I'm lazy. As much as I love food, you know, people are surprised when I say this, but I just don't have the patience. Like, I respect cooks a lot. Uh, I respect good cooking, but for me... All that time, I'm like, ugh. And also, I'm bad at it. And I understand you get better at it as time goes on, but I just, ugh, I'm a lazy guy. I will gladly eat people's cooking, but um, I'm just, I just don't, I just don't have any patience. Thank you again, Angel, for the bars. You'll be seeing them soon, probably. Did you ever watch wrestling? No. Do you drink coffee, tea, or something similar in the morning? Nope. Just like, usually just water. I'm not really a caffeine. I'm, I don't need caffeine. Um, let's see. God, that was so much chocolate. Keep those questions coming. Oh. Who would win in a fight? Hobbs from Calvin and Hobbs or Nermal from Garfield? It's quite a specific question. Hobbs, he's taller. Let's see. Have you ever played Octopath? I have not. Um, favorite Cartoon Network or show from before 2010? It's very specific, but uh, Powerpuff Girls then. 
would be my would be my choice. Um, have you bought a bunch of stuff on the 3DS eShop recently? No, uh, I thought about it, but I I think I have pretty much everything I need on the eShop. Um, I think I'm regretting more not getting stuff for the Wii U before that closed. Because that's closed, right? I'm pretty sure that's closed. It's definitely some games from that um, uh, uh, virtual console I should have gotten. Although I could see Nintendo pulling out like like, I don't know, Game Boy Online or something like they do with, they're doing with the other consoles. Um, is there any board game review you would want an, um, to amend or do you think you're pretty decisive on your final thoughts? That's interesting, actually. Is there one I would amend? Probably not. I feel like uh a lot of them my thoughts probably haven't changed that much um i think what's more likely is some of them like maybe i like really liked it at the time and i'm, I'm like i still like it but not nearly as much but i don't think there's anything where there's a dramatic flip and suddenly like i hate it and then uh, oh actually it's it's actually good like usually i think i have a pretty good handle on the game uh, when I review it. Have you played the board game Carcassonne? I have. Oh wait, the Wii U shop is still open? Hmm. Maybe I will get some stuff for it. Let's see. What's in my library? Especially for the Let's Play channel, there's there's like some games I'm like, maybe I should get this stuff before it goes away. Um, especially as games are getting harder and harder to um, purchase online because things are getting expensive. Oh yeah, I might. I might. Uh... I guess we'll see. We'll see. They stopped taking credit cards on the 23rd. I guess now it's the time if I... I'm gonna get them or not. I'll think about it. Um... Let's see. Are there any board games you feel translate better to the video game format than being on a physical board? Um, there are definitely ones I prefer playing online, if that answers your question. Like, I think Can't Stop is a hilarious game on Board Game Arena. In person, I'm sure it would still be fun, it would just take a lot longer because you got to do all the adding, but online it does it all for you, which is nice. Have you played any of the Mario and Luigi series? I have played 1 and 2 to completion, and I didn't finish 3. How does the lore compare to Paper Mario? I like Paper Mario's lore better. But there's some fun stuff in the Mario and Luigi games. I love the existence of like the Bean Bean Kingdom and um, things like that. Yeah. Let's see. What on the uh, what on here is interesting to me? I mean, for example, like, Jay really likes the Mega Man Battle Networks. I'm like, I guess I sh just in case we're going to play them or something. What I should do is check the prices of some of these and just get, the, get some of the ones that are much cheaper on here. I don't know how I feel about the DS games necessarily because uh, I'm, I feel like we don't really have a way to capture the the fucking what do you call it the pad so i probably would wouldn't bother with some of those um but some of these game boy advance ones i'm like mm, 
because they haven't announced any kind of Game Boy online for Switch. If they do, that'd be fucking killer. But yeah, I might have to. I might have to go through this and pick up some stuff that I'd be interested in getting. Um, did you fall off of Bowser's Inside the Story out of disinterest? Uh, for me, yeah, I was really excited for that game. And then I felt like the gameplay for me was really monotonous. Like, I felt like it in the other games, there because you're in Bowser the whole time, it just kind of felt samey to me. So I, I really fell off of it. Um, maybe at some point I'll go back and like, play through although i hear dream team is a fucking drag but yeah i don't know i just have it's got too many games to play i think the problem with those games too is that they keep making those battle attacks more and more complicated and i prefer the simplicity of like the original i like snappy battles i don't like these long fucking mini games You can mirror the two screens on the TV and the gamepad, but it plays like hot ass. Well, I guess I'll pass on that then. Do you like or dislike cable management? I'm not one of those perverts who likes cable management. For me, it's a pain in the ass. Those questions coming. <sighs> so much fucking chocolate. I never want to eat a chocolate bar again in my life. Are you going to any cons? I'm going to Momocon next week in uh, Georgia. Um, there's uh, Avox in Pasadena. Um, are those the only ones right now? I think so. I had just done a couple, but yeah. Momocon is happening imminently. Have you ever done a classic corn maze? Uh yeah they're great which day for momocon would you recommend um if you are interested in my stuff uh oh, okay let me see let me find my schedule because I, I don't i haven't even announced this yet but um i do have my schedule uh friday this is going to apply to only people who go to fucking Momocon. Friday, I will be part of the Breaking into Animation panel with some other guests at 1. And then I have a Q&A uh, at 4. And then Saturday, I have Rating wi Anime Wives and Husbands 1, Autographs at 5.30. And Sunday, uh, Autographs 11.30. So I would say it really depends on what you're coming for. If you want to meet me... Uh, I would say Saturday is the best day to go because then you can go to the Rating Anime Wires panel and you could get autographs. If you want to be part of a live Q&A, I guess this is a live Q&A, but with a crowd or see me with other actors in a panel, then maybe Friday. Um, Thursday, I have no panels going on. So um, I would say not that day. Uh, any favorite soundtracks from game or anime? Uh, Final Fantasy IX. I, I love that soundtrack. Have you ever tried Cribbage? Which one's Cribbage again? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. Uh, I played this on Board Game Arena for the first time. It was fine. <laughs> it's cute. 
Um, do you ever cosplay for cons or would you want to? I only cosplayed once. I did a Brock cosplay uh, with my wife who was Officer Jenny. You can find that on Twitter. And really it was just so amazing that I peaked and I never need to cosplay again. Um, it's just after, after such an amazing costume, there's no reason to continue, you know. Do you have a goal in Legends Arceus right now? Yep, I'm going to perfect everything. Uh, I already have everything up to 10 rank, which I have the shiny charm. Um, but yeah, I'm going to 100% the Pokédex, as in finish every objective. We're, the main pain in the ass right now is that I need more Eevees to show up. Um, but because of the massive, whatever it's called, the massive outbreak... There's much less um, uh, Eevee because Eevee doesn't show up in the massive outbreaks, so I've just I'm just waiting for an outbreak to happen. Um, but yeah, but I'm having a good time with it, and I'm catching shinies left and right. Do you ever see cosplays of some of your characters? Oh yeah, at cons people come up with um, either dressed as my YouTube characters or characters I voiced. Um, yeah, always very flattered. Um, favorite Taco Bell food item is the steak quesadilla. It's just an old reliable for me. Keep those questions coming. Have you played Mario RPG? I have. Least favorite fast food? Ooh, least favorite? Might be Subway. Um, is your filling room a storage space? Uh, kind of, because I'm messy. But in terms of actually it's no it's a bedroom i mean like technically a bedroom but it's, it's in my apartment do you eat kimchi yeah kimchi's great how often do you do laundry whenever it needs to be done um do you have any complete inbox video games yeah uh which game are you most proud of to own i don't know if i have any like rarities a lot of them have just accidentally become rarities over the years. Oh, Chulip is over almost 200. I still have that. Yeah. Um, I have been sent games, some very generous games uh, from fans. Like uh, Rhapsody. I think that game is pretty, pretty rare now. Um, but, yeah. You were a fanboy when meeting celebrities. I try to stay relatively chill. Um, I do get I I rarely get nervous. Although I did get nervous when I met Patrick Warburton, but other than that, I'm usually pretty chill. Uh, did you watch or check out Creator Clash? I I watched some of the fights. Yeah, uh, my show was crazy. Um, yeah, I, I think everyone who took part in that, like, had a lot of guts. Because that's not an easy thing to do. Uh, you know, getting the shit punched out of you in front of a crowd. That takes guts. Have you completed your Animal Crossing Amiibo collection? If you're talking about the cards, yes. Actually, I think with the figures as well, yes. Um... 
ever thought about getting to commentating for things like esports? I just don't know enough about esports to be a commentator. I wouldn't mind being a commentator if it was something I was knowledgeable about, but I don't think there's anything that would qualify. Do you like Perrier? No. Sparkling water is... No. Tastes like metal. Um... Let's see. Favorite fighting game? Uh, people would say it doesn't count, but I like Smash Bros. I'm really bad at fighting games. Guest judging on MasterChef? That'd be amazing. I would love that. Do you like cherries? Yeah, they're pretty good. You do a lot of board game stuff if you've gotten into TCGs. Uh, I played some Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. Played some Pokemon back in the day. I think those are the only ones I like seriously played. Pokemon Arceus worth the price? I'm really enjoying it. I love it. What role are you most recognized for? Probably Flack in Borderlands 3. Any last questions? Throw them at me. Ever played the Etrian Odyssey series? Uh, yes, I really enjoyed. I think I played the. I think I beat the first two. I don't remember if I beat three. They're all they're all kind of the same to me, so it's hard to remember. But I definitely played at least two of them. I think I beat both. I beat the first one for sure. Um, I should check. Did I? Did I beat Etrian Odyssey two? Those are those were like super super fun. Um, chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. All or Celica? Celica. You prefer doing tastings all in one sitting or over a period of time? Um, I mean it's more comfortable doing it over a period of time, but there's something nice about being able to do it in one sitting and just be done. But it depends on the on the food. Sometimes you get a stomach ache. So I'd say, I think I prefer doing it in one sitting because the ones if it's a shitty food, and you have to eat it over a period of time, it gets really fucking old. Like that Campbell's period, that was that was bad. Um, are you caught up with all the Ace Attorney games? Nope. I need to play Great Ace Attorney. I also technically have not played the second Edgeworth game. Um, what glasses are those? I don't remember. The ones that have this like O thing on the side. I don't remember. I don't remember which brand. Uh, Elden Ring thoughts. I don't uh play Elden Ring. Where do you find your anime merch? Online. Um, next stream. Well, I'm doing two streams this weekend. Saturday, I'm going to be doing... Uh, they're both charity ones. One of them will be uh, Super Punch-Out! on Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Uh, and the other one will be a board game one, I believe, also... Is it also 11? Let me double check. I should have written down the time. Uh, yeah, 11 a.m. on Sunday. I'm going to write that. Uh, yeah, so I'll be streaming pretty heavily this weekend. Please come by, help donate, you know, 
good cause. Um, how much you love Inscription? Uh, I never went back to it. It was alright. Uh, played Ghost of Tsushima? No. Um, okay. I think that's going to be it for this one. Thank you for everyone for watching the tasting video uh, and for asking questions. Uh, I will stop the recording here.